Good morning, guys. This is a beautiful Saturday morning in October, and today we're doing a seven month review on a Skag Patriot, whatever, 52 inch deck right here. Uh, let's see, what size motor we got here? What we have here is a Kawasaki FX 22 horsepower. The hours on this machine after seven months. You see that? 37 hours. Now this is my buddy Keith Mower down the street, about a mile, half a mile down the street. He got a 52 inch deck. He says, like, why you buy a machine like this and only get a 52 inch deck? He's got two acres out here to mow. That's all right. We did a 10 hour oil change on it several months ago. And let's show you where the oil comes out. Here's the oil plug, which, you know, I'm not accustomed to these fancy machines, but this is uh, one that's, it comes out the bottom. So it uh, keeps it a lot cleaner. So right there's the oil plug. Another thing that's a little special about this machine is it actually has a brake where a lot of them, you just pull back and kind of do your reverse business. But this one, if you're going down a hill, get to sliding, actually have a brake pedal on that. All right, so what Keith's gonna show us right here is this is um, how you do the deck setting. So how do you do it? Right there, pull the pin and get it where you want it. It's in quarter inches, is that right? So one through five inches over here, and then what we got here? Okay. Got 22 inch tall tires. And Keith maintains two acres with this. Real reason why he got a 52 inch deck is because he thought he was going to store it in that building right there. And the bigger deck would fit through the door. And then he bought this massive thing, so there you so go. Keith had added on, not that it really needed it because this is a pretty heavy machine, but he's got a striping kit. He's gonna op show us how it operates. So you just let it loose there and then you gotta do the other side, I guess. And that's actually got springs on it to hold it down tight, is that right? That is correct. Kit. And it goes to wheel to wheel, so you got a lot of strike there. Like I say, I'm not a mechanic, don't really know all that much, but I don't know what this is. So if you know what this item is right here, make a comment and tell me what it is. I do not know. So this has, and I can't think of the real name of it, but it's kind of like a, this roll bar right here. Of course, it's, you know, where you can take it down. Uh, Keith never does that, but depending on the weight of the machine and there's laws and rules around, we well, gotta keep it on there. So, so anyway, that is something you could take out with that pin right there if you chose. As far as the brake pedal goes, this is your release for the brake pedal. Of course, right over here, you got your PTO engagement, your choke, throttle, key. So just got one gas tank. You know, one gas tank, so I'm gonna have two. Right, go ahead and lift it up. So we're gonna lift up this nice seat here. Just kind of see the inner workings underneath here. Now the battery's under that, right? Yeah. So there's your cables going, battery's under that. We're not gonna take it off and show it to you. Um, you see him does have a seat belt. Keeps don't ever use it because he has flat ground. So this has of course, I don't know if that's lead or seed or what, but anyway, this has got the um, you know, firm and soft, whatever you want to call it, but it's an adjustment. And I guess it bounces up and down with the ground. Made in the USA. Very important, right there. Okay, you where it just flaps down? You put it down. You wouldn't want to mow everything with that, but you can pull it up and pull it down. So that's an option, all right. That is an option. We don't know what gauge steel this is, but it's heavier than most. So this was purchased around April of 21. This is October of 21. Now the Skag dealer would have you know that this is a commercial mower. 
Now it's probably more of a hybrid in between, but it's got all the makings of a commercial mower, according to them. I'm sure you real commercial guys would say that it's not, but it's a good in-between for a heavy duty residential machine here. The seat is adjustable back and forth. Right now it looks like about midway in between both of them. Not all the way back. I guess it's that level right here. Is that what does it? Yes. Now when I first got on this back in April, I went in reverse and then I went in forward real fast. This dude did a wheelie. About bought, lost my lunch. All right, so we're gonna see this thing mow. He's getting set up to mow his yard. Now he seeded, overseeded, and fertilized about two weeks ago. So he's got some new grass coming in. But man, this grass is tall. Like, see how tall that is? We're gonna put it on time lapse and see how this thing does. This is the before picture right here. Okay, so he's mowing. I'm going to leave now, go home, do some things, come back and show you the after picture. baseball field right there. this up. Keith, any issues with it in seven months? No, sir. All right. Keith will not do anything different with this machine. I'll buy it again. Seven month review. Skag Patriot. Is that all it says? 52 inch deck. All right. That's what it is. Close today's video. That's the Skag Patriot 52 inch deck. Right there it goes. By the way, that um, Skag mower, it'll do a wheelie and Keith just wouldn't let us do it. So that's 